So lately there's been a ton of discussion out there about chlorines and chloramines and uh, if you go on to the websites in Google there's a, there's a variety of information, some saying good, some saying bad and uh, you know as a, as a person it's tough to sort through all that and understand uh, what it all means. It's also tough for me to explain all that, those things to the public in 500 words or less and, uh, and it's definitely hard to put it in a one page pamphlet. So what we really want to do is try something different today and kind of share with you guys uh, some information that we have and why we're making the decisions that we are and, and see what you have to think about it. So uh, I'll confess from the get-go here, I'm, I'm definitely not an actor and uh, I'm sure as a heck not an artist. Uh, we're definitely not movie producers here, but um, uh, hopefully we'll get the facts across to you. Um, so one of the first things to start off with is the most important thing we're talking about treating water is the water source. And so water sources come from basically two things, they're either spring-fed, uh, you know, you see this a lot in the mountains, um, glaciers that are melting and so on and so forth. The water's very clean, doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. Um, and then the, the other source that uh, we see in Slave Lake is the surface fed. So basically we've got a body of water, which is our lake. Uh, it's got over 50 different streams and tributaries and so on and so forth that flow into it. And it picks up all kinds of minerals and organics and stuff from the dirt and fish and so on and so forth and flows in and collects in this pond. So the one thing to remember is that, um, you know, obviously our lake is a, is a large body and it, it stretches a, a long ways. And uh, even um, there's a significant difference between the water that's collected at this end of the lake and the water that's collected at this end of the lake. One of the most unique features is that we've got a river. And it's the, only, um, it's the only tributary that flows out of the lake. So essentially all these things are flowing into the lake and all these particles and organics and so on and so forth. Um, and as they flow and come and come and come down to the end, um, this is where these things are all collecting. So just wanted to point out that one water source at one end of the lake is very different from one water source at the end of the lake. So essentially then what happens is we, um, we're sucking in water out of the lake and, and you know obviously this water has all kinds of stuff in it. It's got viruses, it's got bacteria, it's got protozoans, and it's got stuff that we can't drink. Um, so we need to treat this water. So basically we have a water line out in the river, sucks in, goes into our water plant that's out by the uh, airport. Uh, we use a powdered activated carbon uh, that kind of attaches to all these big chunks of organics and bad stuff in there. Um, we go through about six different filters, uh, we, um, and then essentially our water also goes through a UV light system. So there's been a lot of talk uh, about different sources, different ways to treat water, whatever. You know, use, using UV for example, well that's, a, that's actually a system that we installed in 2011 uh, to get rid of some additional uh, bacteria and viruses that were in the water. Other people have talked about ozone, you know, reverse osmosis, different charcoal filters that you can use. Um, these are all uh, viable options, uh, but essentially water is broken into two things. Firstly, you treat the water, and then you essentially have to keep it disinfected as we put it out into our lines. Uh, our issues right now are not in the treatment of our water. Uh, it's very effective. Our issue is that once the water is treated, um, we have to add a disinfectant. So in Canada, essentially, there's two types of disinfectant that are widely used, and that's chlorine or chloramine. And so currently we use a chlorine system and we basically pump chlorine into our, um, into our pipes and our water after it's treated uh, to basically keep those bacteria and, and, and viruses and stuff from growing again and, and causing us problems. So the chlorine essentially uh, um, helps to, you know, to keep the water treated so that we can drink it. 